In this video, I will guide you on how to craft skill jades like Dreamy, Blood Moon, and Verger Dragon Jade. In addition, I will give important tips that you might not know yet. So, be sure to watch the whole video. Now, let's get started. There are three types of skill jades in Dragon Nest which are Dreamy Dragon Jade, Blood Moon Dragon Jade, and Verger Dragon Jade. These skill jades enhance and improve certain skills in each class. To see more about skill jades, I've put links in the description below. Now, to craft skill jades, the first material you need is to get 89 skill jade fragments which are Dreamy Fragment, Moon Fragment, and Forest Fragment. You might ask that, how to get these skill jade fragments? Skill Jade Fragment can only be dropped from Resting Place or also known as Tomb Invader. Tomb Invader only appears at Labyrinth 6 and above difficulty with a low appearance chance. Important Tip To increase the Tomb Invader appearance chance, you must do Dungeon Board Mission at Labyrinth 6 and above difficulty. To see your missions, go to the Mission Bulletin Board and you will see all of the missions. If you are confused with the details in the Mission Bulletin Board, there's another way to see your mission. Press L on your keyboard and click on the Mission tab on the right side of the window and follow the details to clear the quest. Important note, Tomb Invader appears in dungeon stages only. So, make sure to do dungeon missions only. The next question is, how many skill jade fragments can I get from one Tomb Invader? In total, you can get a maximum of 50 skill jade fragments with three different types. Each skill jade fragment like, Dreamy, Moon, and Forest Fragment has a 10 to 20 pieces average drop ratio. Okay, I already have 89 skill jade fragments. What to do next? The next material that you need is to get 8 powerful bonding agent. To get it, go to Red Lotus Palace and talk to palace attendant Jukwal Yang. To buy one powerful bonding agent you will need to have one gold lotus water. You might ask that, where can I get gold lotus water? You can get 3 Gold Lotus Water when you clear 7 or more World Daily Task. You can also get Gold Lotus Water from the Fission Maze Clear Rewards from Labyrinth 5 and above difficulty. The number of Gold Lotus Water Rewards in Fission Maze increases the higher Labyrinth difficulty the more Gold Lotus Water Rewards. If you can't do a high Labyrinth Fission Maze run, you can buy Labyrinth 13 Fission Maze Service for 800 Gold up to 1000 Gold. Presso. Then search FM service in the party list. Important note, after you clear the Fission Maze, the rewards will be awarded on Saturday at 9am. To get Fission Maze reward, press the forward slash symbol. Go to the Labyrinth Conquest tab, and in the bottom left window click receive reward, and go to mail and get the rewards. Okay, now that I have 89 skill jade fragments and 8 powerful bonding agent, the next thing to do is to craft it in the NPC blacksmith in town. Go and talk to any blacksmith NPC in town and select craft items. Click on the Dragon Jade Talisman tab and find the skill jade that you have materials to craft with. In my case, I have all three types of skill jade fragments, so I can craft all three types of skill jades. Before I forget, important note, crafting skill jade requires 1000 gold as a crafting payment. So, make sure that you have 1000 gold in your inventory. Okay, I'm done crafting skill jade. What to do next? My advice is, rather than opening the sealed skill jade, I recommend that you sell it in the trading house. Sealed dreamy dragon jade can be sold from 2500 gold up to 4000 gold. On the other hand, sealed blood moon jade can be sold from 6000 gold up to 7000 gold. And sealed verger dragon jade can be sold from 20,000 gold up to 24,000 gold. Did you enjoy the video? If you do, please hit the like button, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my new uploads. If you have any more questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. That is all for this guide. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.